I scout uh, and look for certain pests. And, and when I do use pesticides, I try to use the, the minimum amount. I, I mean, I, gotta eat, I eat the produce too, so uh, I try to, try to follow the directions and even try to keep it as low as I can. But sometimes when they scout the, for the bees, they let me know they've seen certain insects, so that helps too when, they're out, when Purdue's out scouting. Different kinds of insecticides. We try to be specific for maybe the um, pest bug that we're after, striped and spotted cucumber beetle control. Um, it does have some success, I think, a little with wireworm control early in the year. But uh, we try not to use it any more than we need to, and just hopefully when the scouts see enough uh, bee or cucumber beetles. Probably use a little more in the cantaloupes than we do the watermelons because the bacteria wilt that, that the cucumber beetle can transmit to the cantaloupe. So, and it's timely too, you know, there's certain times that cantaloupe plant is susceptible to that bacterial wilt. So. As far as the cucumber beetle, especially in cantaloupe, we just always use neonicotinoids with a, a drench on the plant right at transplant and we try to use and we do use we use the lowest rate on the label for that and are seeing good results with that low rate and uh, that generally keeps cucumber beetles off of them for almost 30 days but we always still watch in case we see a big flush of them and then we might spray if there's a big flush but for the most part I try not to come up with a follow-up insecticide spray unless we do get that big flush. But we scout for that and other insects too. And I think I could get by on watermelons with less insecticides if we didn't have rhineworm and aphids. And the neonics do keep, they keep the aphids off a long time also. Mm -hmm. And a lot of years we don't see any aphids till really late in the season.